teaching, moving online and going remote has affected what we do enormously. COVID-19, I think, has certainly pushed a lot of our colleagues to rethink how university teaching should be delivered as well as also be thought about. That the same quality of education underpins what we're doing this year as it always does. Everybody's gone back to the drawing board to think about, you know, how are we going to build that community? How are we going to foster interaction between people? How are we going to take the same things that we used to do um, in face-to-face -face situations and how can we take them online? I'm immensely proud of what the university has achieved. All the work that's been done during the summer to prepare for teaching, it's been, it's been amazing. And I think it's actually really brought out a lot of creativity. We've had this opportunity to pause, think about our pedagogy, think about the way that we teach and out of it is coming something really, really good. I think there has been a lot of new innovation we're thinking about also promoting uh, sort of active independent learning. Usually during the course of an academic year, I could be delivering anything up to 50 hours of item handling teaching in archives and special collections. So the library's just invested in new technology that enables virtual teaching. And that technology allows us to show an item being moved around in real time. It allows students to ask questions about it and to have some kind of active play within the class themselves. It also allows us to zoom and to annotate those images. So it completely changes the way we can teach with those items digitally. <laughs> One of the things that we've done um, here is that using a VR platform which connected uh, to Teams and Zoom and through this app and through this VR environment you can really see sort of you can spin around the graph for example and the idea of this is to, to see the data and visualize the data as if you're appreciating landscape. Then the Edify platform has also been other projects that have been de developed just like this data landscape app for example visualizing a uh, uh, protein molecules, but there's a recreated lab environment. So I think there's quite a, a diverse range of platforms across uh, for the different disciplines uh, within our universities. A lot of the teaching that we've been preparing in response to the pandemic isn't really just for the pandemic. I think we've tried really hard to focus on how we can innovate in our teaching for the longer term. I think this will completely change the way I teach in the future. There's already things that I've collected um, in terms of content or the way that I approach the materials that I will absolutely be embedding in future courses. I think once you open um, this sort of box of tools, they're there to stay. I think what COVID has done is really just brought us all together to almost sort of have a big brainstorm. It's like how we can do this properly. I think this has really sort of provided impetus and also a desire for, from both staff and students to really think about how we can deliver these teaching uh, in innovative ways without compromising the quality as, as well as the interactive and the pedagogical approaches that we have been building already. People have worked exceptionally hard, not just in terms of the preparation for teaching, but the care and compassion that people are showing for really wanting to make sure students don't feel isolated when they're sitting online and can connect with one another and to really try and build learning communities when we don't have the physical campus to fall back on in the way that we normally would. In many ways, I think um, it's, it's maybe a slightly different way of getting to the same point. And um, I'm actually really positive about the whole thing. Um, I feel it's going to be really, really good.